last time i asked you some questions related to surface tension i asked you what is surface tension why the shapes of bubble or water droplets are or are spherical in equilibrium so the answer to the question is the shape of the bubble or water droplets is spherical to possess minimum surface energy at its equilibrium because whenever the water droplets or bubbles they are in an equilibrium state they try to they tend to be in a minimum energy state that is their equilibrium state and that is the state where they get minimum energy they possess minimum surface energy when their shape is spherical now what is the surface tension surface tension is the tendency of the uh, liquid to be in such a shape that they possess a minimum potential energy at thermal equilibrium so now let's discuss more about surface tension what is the unit of surface tension surface tension is expressed in terms of its coefficient and we denote here the coefficient as sigma uh, uh, in other books also the coefficient may be also not, uh, uh, described as gamma but here i use the coefficient sigma for the surface tension coefficient and its uh, unit in terms of force is force per length and in terms of energy is work done per area now my questions were uh, that the what happens what are the phenomena due to surface tension okay uh, uh, we have uh, you, we usually notice that uh, whenever there is kind of a container in which the liquid within the container the boundary at the boundary this can be flat this can be in a shape of meniscus like a shape of a concave surface or the boundary can be in shape of a convex surface so what are the reason behind this some liquids are uh, they uh, have weighty properties some liquids they don't uh, have that uh, weighty properties so why are uh, what why why this phenomena happens before that i want to introduce you to some basic definitions and to some basic uh, forces so one is the cohesive force another is the adhesive force what is cohesive force cohesive force when the forces are uh, interacting uh, forces due to the interaction of the similar molecules like you have a container and within that container you have some liquid it may be water it may be mercury whatever okay you have some liquid so in liquid there are in water there are h2 molecules they are all same but at the boundary there there is i mean air air molecules that is quite different from the water molecules so the interaction within this liquid and the interaction at the boundary surface basically the forces are same are not same they are different the interaction interacting forces between the similar molecules are known as cohesive forces while the interaction between the dissimilar molecules are known the adhesive forces so basically there are difference in forces now we are going to see that in at in equilibrium there will be the difference in forces due to which there will be pressure difference and that pressure difference and the surface tension will going to place their its role so what will be its role let's check it out so suppose you have a, a surface suppose it is a, a surface of a bubble okay you just take one part of its surface and somehow it just extended it gets stretched amount delta z now the radius of curvature along the x direction is uh, r1 and along the y direction is r2 uh, let's the bubble is not spherical so i just take the different curvatures for different directions along x it is r1 along y it is r2 and the extension or stretch amount is delta z so from uh, this geometry we can tell that r1 by r1 plus delta z is x by x plus delta x where x has become x plus delta x after getting stretched and y has become y plus delta y so r1 by delta z equals to x by delta x similarly r2 by delta z equals to y by delta y now the difference in pressure is 
delta B will be equal to the difference in force. Delta B will be, um, if the de delta B is the difference in pressure, then the difference in force is delta P into XY. And difference in work done will be delta P into XY into delta Z. So, that is sigma into delta A. Now, delta A is the area. That is area increased area. So, I can write delta of XY. Now, delta of XY, I can simplify it with X delta Y plus Y delta X plus delta X into delta Y. So, delta X into delta Y term is very much negligible. We just take this term. And uh, we have also got the two equations R1 by delta Z equals to X by delta X, R2 by delta Z equals to Y by delta Y. We put X by delta X and Y by delta Y and we find it the pressure difference delta B equals to sigma that is the surface tension 1 by R2 plus 1 by R1. That is the radii of curvature along the two directions along X and Y. For the sphere we know R1 equals to R2. So, after simplifying we get delta B, the difference in pressure equals to 2 sigma divided by R, where sigma is the surface tension coefficient. Now, I have told you that the this phenomena, the liquid is uh, there the, at the boundary, the boundary, the surface may be in concave shape or may be in convex shape. So, if we draw this, the boundary, we will get that this is the pressure, due, uh, here this is gas, here this is liquid. Also the similar thing is here. One is for the concave boundary, another is for the convex boundary and this is the surface tension. So here surface tension, the pressure of the gas is greater than the pressure of the liquid. To overcome the surface tension also with an upward direction. And pressure of the gas is downward direction, pressure of the liquid is upward direction. So the pressure of the gas much greater than the pressure of the liquid because it has to overcome the pressure due to surface tension also. So here pressure of the gas is greater than pressure of the liquid and here pressure of the gas is less than pressure of the liquid because the surface tension, the pressure due to surface tension is downward, pressure due to gas is downward and pressure due to liquid is upward. So here the pressure is lower than uh, in this case and the pressure is greater in this in that case. And everything will be situation dependent depending on the property of the liquid whether it, it has weighting property or it doesn't weight the container. That is the main thing here. And the, uh, in fact the role here is the pressure difference. Now I ask you a question that why in long trees uh, for very very long trees, we know that the roots, uh, from the roots, the tree can, uh, the water can go up to the leaves. What are the natural pumping processes happening here? Uh, let us take it out. First, I have already derived that delta P equals to 2 sigma by R, where R is the radii of the curvature of that meniscus. Now, suppose we have a capillary tube. And the water height is H. So before the end of boundary, this is a gas and liquid boundary. And we have to find it out the formula in terms of the radius of this capillary tube. For that, I just draw this picture here. Where this small r I take as the radius of the capillary tube. This theta is the contact angle. Contact angle means the contact between the angle between the contacts. So, I find that cos theta equals to small r divided by capital R, where capital R is the radius of the curvature of this convex surf, concave surface and small r is the radius of, uh, radius of the capillary tube. That is cos theta equals to small r divided by capital R or capital R is the radius of curvature equals to small r that is the radius of the capillary tube divided by cos theta where theta is the contact angle. Now the pressure difference formula we get delta P equals to 2 sigma divided by capital R. So in, in the place of capital R, I just replace it with small r by cos theta. So we get delta P, the pressure difference equals to 2 sigma cos theta by small r. Now, now we know that delta B if there is air, okay, 
So air pressure delta V definitely H rho G. So where H is the height of the liquid or height of the water that has arised. So H rho G equals to after equating this to H rho G equals to 2 sigma cos theta by R. So H equals to 2 sigma cos theta by rho G R. Here the case I have taken this case. So this case the H is positive that is the height of the water has increased. If H is negative, suppose there is a mercury, where H will be negative and the water will and the liquid height is decreased. So, water in case of water, the increment of height is 2 sigma cos theta by rho g r, where the increment of height depends on the surface coefficient, depends on the contact angle theta and most important it depends on the radius of the capillary tube. So, the lower the radius, the higher will be the height. So, this is the basic need for the long trees to reach the water from roots to up to its leaf that they have really smaller radii capillary tubes. That is the main thing. So, this is the beautiful natural surface tension phenomena, natural pumping process which is occurring in trees. Okay, hopefully you understand that the R will be lower, H will be much much greater and it is all due to this surface tension phenomena, the pressure difference, this pressure difference is arising from the different kind of forces, the different kind of forces like cohesive and adhesive forces and they are the basic reason for all this phenomena in nature. So hopefully for today I think I can give you some explanation to my questions. And next time you also study hard and know much more. So, wish you good luck.